Hi, in this video we're going to talk about Microsoft Teams, basic usage and setup. The basic requirements are a computer, speakers, microphone, web camera, and a decent internet connection. Let's open up the Microsoft Teams application and sign in using our work or school account. Now you can join a Microsoft Teams meeting through the calendar if you created one or if somebody sent you a calendar invite. Let's try joining a Teams meeting through a calendar invite. So once you click the join link, join Teams meeting, it opens it up in a browser and you get a couple of options. The first one says the site is trying to open Microsoft Teams and because it's detected that there is an application on your computer, it tries to open it. The other one is if you don't have the application, then you get the option to download the Windows app. Or if you don't want to download the Windows app, you can join it on the web instead. But I must inform you, the Windows desktop application has a better set of functionality than the web. There are limitations on the web version of Microsoft Teams. Let's click on open. So once you click join, this is the window you get. And before you join, it's always good to test your microphone, headphones, and web camera before you proceed. Let's click on the settings or the gear icon over here and have a look at what our options are. Under audio devices, you can see that I have a couple of audio devices over here and I want to select Realtek High Definition Audio. Under Speaker, now these, now these options are specific to my computer. You need to see what you have available. Under Speaker, I'm going to use what I have. And under Microphone, I'm going to select what I have again over here. And under Integrated Camera, you can select if you have more than one webcam, you can select the best one that you have there. Before we proceed, let's make a test call and see if everything is working. To test your call quality, record a short message after the beep. Then your message will be played back to you. This is a Microsoft test meeting, one, two, three. This is a Microsoft test meeting, one, two, three. If you're happy with the quality of your message, then you've configured Teams correctly. If not, check your device settings and try again. Okay, looks like we got all the green ticks. That means it's good. Let's go back. Let's close this. And a couple of options we have over here are the web, web camera. We can decide to turn it off or on. If you have bandwidth restrictions, it's always good to turn it off. You can turn it on at any point. The second one is your background options. Once we turn that on, you get a couple of options over here. The first one being blur. And the others are different scenic backgrounds which Microsoft have now made available. For example, let's select one of these. And you can see that the background has changed. It's always good to face the camera straight because the moment you have your face turned, it tends to cut a few pieces of your face, which is very weird. The next option is your microphone. You can decide to mute your microphone before you join a meeting, or you can have it turned on. My recommendation is if you're joining a big meeting with a lot of attendees, it's good to always mute your microphone so that your background noise is not broadcasted, broadcasted to, to everybody. You can turn it on at any point, or if you want to speak, you can turn your microphone on at that point. I'm going to turn it off now. Next. I'm going to click on join now. All right, now, in my, now I'm in my meeting room and a couple of options that you can again see are, you can see the timer, you can see the camera on and off, I can decide to turn it off. 
and I can decide to turn it on. Again, I can mute and unmute my microphone. The share button allows you to share your desktop, certain windows, or if you want, you can browse and share your PowerPoint. You can present your PowerPoint. You will look at this in a different video. Click on the three dots for more actions and you get show device settings. Again, this is where you select your audio, speaker, microphone and camera settings. If it doesn't work, this is the place where you need to go to change them and run a test again. Let's close that. You can click on show background effects. This is where you can change your background again. Let's say I want something in a room. And apply. There we go. Let's close that. Turn on live captions preview. This is like subtitles. So if I am in a Teams meeting and I have no attendees, then I can speak to myself. Let's turn that off. The organizer of the meeting can also start a recording of the meeting and the recording gets saved in Microsoft Streams. I can also decide to turn off incoming video. That is, if I have video coming from my attendees, I can decide to turn it off. That only turns it off for me. It does not turn it off at their end and it does not turn it off for the other attendees. The next option is to show conversation. This is where you would chat. For example, I can say hi. And I can add GIFs. And your attendees can participate in instant messaging over here as well. The show participants shows a list of all the participants or attendees in the meeting. And you can turn them, you can mute them or you can make them a presenter by right-clicking on them. That is a set of features, basic set of features that you have on Teams. And this should be good enough to allow you to join Teams meeting invites that you receive from outside or from other people. We will cover uh, the other Teams options in another video. And if you want to hang up, click on this button over here. If you like this video, do like and subscribe. I'll try to put out more videos. Thank you.